All right, we've done all of our research and now it's time to pick the keyword that we are going to base our article on. We're just gonna look at the information that we have and then we're gonna make some informed decisions based off of that and based on the strategy that you wanna go after. Now, one very important recommendation is that in the beginning, especially when you're just starting out with rankings, don't go after the hard ones quite yet. Instead, you can use a strategy called leveling up. And what I mean by leveling up is taking an easy keyword and starting there. And then over time, adjusting your article to address the harder and harder keywords. And let me show you what that means by comparing the spreadsheet and my article. If you look at the spreadsheet, you can see that topics like five day water fast results have a relatively low volume and they have medium competition now, but they didn't used to. It used to be a lower competition. Whereas a topic like water fasting has a high volume and a high competition. Water fasting would be much harder to go after in the beginning, but five day water fast results would be easy to go after in the beginning. That's actually what I did with this article. So now the article is structured to go after water fasting results. But the first keyword I went after was five day water fast. I knew that there wouldn't be as much competition for that. So I started with five day water fast. And if you'll notice, the URL is still structured for that. It still says five day water fast. So I wrote about the five day water fast. I used all the criteria in the creating Google friendly content section that we'll get to next. But in the beginning, I focused it on this five day water fast. Now, despite doing that, I also included information on water fasting in general, water fasting benefits, water fasting results. I wanted to hit on all of them, but I wanted to start with this more narrow keyword, the five day water fast. Now, once this article was ranking for five day water fast, what I did was I changed the title in Google. So the title on your page, this one that you see here and the one that Google sees are actually different. You can set them separately so that something shows up in Google specific for Google results and something shows up on your page. And you do this through the meta title tag. And if you're on WordPress, you can actually set this. So I'll show you where you would do that. If we go to edit post here, and you'll need to install an SEO plugin uh, like Yoast or one of the other SEO tools. But when you get to the bottom of your article, there should be an option to set the title right here. So you'll notice water fasting results, why I love not eating for five days is very different from the title up here, which is I consume nothing but water for five days. Here's why, what happened and why it was awesome. Very different. And by just changing this title down here, you can restructure the article or you can restructure what people see in Google so that they click on it based on the keyword they came in with. So I started with a low volume, low competition keyword, five day water fast results. Then I noticed that it was ranking for just water fasting results. So I changed the title to fit that water fasting results, colon, why I love not eating for five days. I wanted people to hit that one when they search for water fasting results. Now, since then it's ranked for water fasting. So I would recommend you go after a similar strategy. Start with an easy, more narrow, less competition keyword. Once it's ranking for that, level it up to a slightly harder one. And once it's ranking for that, you can level it up again. And you can do all of this just by changing the title tag. You do not need to adjust the content of the post very much, unless there's something that the broader keyword asks for that you didn't normally include. So using that strategy, the leveling up, I want you to identify a keyword on your spreadsheet that has a more narrow to medium broadness, enough keyword volume, so not zero, but probably less than 5,000, and then a medium or low competition. And that's where you're going to start. There needs to be enough that people are actually searching for this, but not too much that you're never gonna rank or that you're gonna get discouraged. Go ahead, pick your keyword now. And once you've done that, we can move on to part three which is putting together this epic post that will make it easy to rank in Google.